Hi, I'm Marty yet again. And now we're on top of that area that we had just been at that was the lowest point on Rutger. The wooden platform is over there to my right, slightly. We've just come up to this next level above that last era of quarrying operation because this is a pretty good point to observe some of the common uh, vegetation in the area. Uh, because it's limestone, it's really haven for the eastern redbud tree, this guy right here. Okay? Very, very common tree. Heart-shaped leaf on a zigzag stem. Eastern redbud. Very prolific tree. It'll grow in a variety of circumstances, not just limestone. It's related to soybeans and kudzu. It's in the pea or bean family, as you can see from the pods that have formed. But this tree blooms out before it leaves out, and it has a beautiful purple bloom, and the quarry is in, in, on fire with these things in very, very early spring. Those blooms, by the way, are quite nutritious and quite delicious. We also have fragrant sumac, which is in fact related to poison ivy. It has the three leaves. They aren't exactly the same shape or texture as poison ivy, but they are definitely reminiscent of it. They are in the same family. And you can see several eastern red cedars which is another limestone loving shrub or tree, whichever you want to call it. Uh, the eastern red cedar is what gives that fragrant wood that made cedar chests, etc. They used to make pencils and toys out of it, but that's gone the way of the wild goose. 